Team USA is back in the pool this weekend in their first official games of 2018. Plus, we'll get you caught up on all the women's college action coming up on a brand new counterattack. Hi everyone, Greg Meskel here. Thanks for joining us on the counterattack. We start first with Team USA, who is headed down under. They start first in Australia, then on to New Zealand. Rare you see both the USA men and women in the same place at the same time outside of a World Champs, Pan Ams, Olympics. They'll be there together. First, two exhibition games against Australia. You can watch them live, live streaming information available right here. From there, both squads head to New Zealand for the FINA Intercontinental Tournament. Let's break down all the rosters and schedule information for Team USA. First, here's a look at the rosters for the squads heading to Australia and New Zealand. USA men breaking it up. One group playing in Australia, another playing in New Zealand for head coach Dan Ardovich. Of course, some overlap there. For the USA women and head coach Adam Krikorian, he'll bring 14 women on the trip. They'll all play in Australia, and then a roster of 13 will be announced for the FINA Intercontinental Tournament. We'll have full results of Team USA's action in Australia and New Zealand right here on the Counterattack, so make sure you tune in next week. More senior team news. Olympian and Long Beach State head coach Gavin Arroyo, he is joining the men's senior national team staff, and he caught up with the LBSU Water Polo Twitter account to talk about it. I'm super fortunate to have uh, Coach Adovacic uh, bring me on to help out. Um, obviously gone through the program back when I was a player and did a little coaching with the program. It's, it means a lot to me to be part of what our country's trying to do. Also, don't forget National League Finals coming up fast April 21st and 22nd at the University of California, Berkeley. We'll have rosters and schedule information soon at usawaterpolo.org. In the meantime, get ready to be there or watch live. Every game streaming live on USA Water Polo TV at facebook.com slash usawp or youtube.com slash usawp. And now we turn to a big event coming for USA Water Polo. Faster, higher, stronger. It's the USA Water Polo Gala honoring the best in sport. It's coming May 19th to the San Diego Marriott Del Mar in Del Mar, California. And it's going to recognize a whole host of deserving folks. First, the USA Water Polo National Award winners. They were announced earlier this month. They will be recognized. Secondly, five retiring Team USA Olympians. Tony Azevedo, Cami Craig, Courtney Mathewson, Sammy Hill, and K.K. Clark, all Olympic medalists. They'll be recognized. And three Legacy Award recipients. 2000 Olympian Maureen O'Toole, a pioneer in women's water polo. San Diego Shores and longtime national team pipeline coach Doug Peabody. And of course, the history-making Masters Water Polo squad, the H2 Oldies. All this information plus tickets available now at usawaterpolo.org. Secure your spot May 19th. We'll see you in Del Mar, California. Now we turn towards the women's college game. Let's get you caught up on all the big results from this past weekend. First, we start last Thursday in Los Angeles. Princeton and USC televised live on the Pac-12 network. This one was all USC, a dominant effort. Team USA's Paige Hochschild played big in the field. Mount Megan's as well. USC wins this one handedly. From there, we go Long Beach State, UCLA. Highlights here via Water Polo Nation. Roxy Wheaton looks inside of Nicole Reynolds. Reynolds slams this one down, and the Bruins take the 2-0 lead. 221 left in the half. Here's Grab with another shot attempt. She throws it up, but Petras gets a hand on it. Petras looks for the rebound, but loses it, and a foot taps the ball across the line. 208 left in the second. Alex Massier goes for the entry pass and draws a foul. Tori Morrissey takes the shot, and the 49ers get on the board. It's 521 left in the fourth. Bronte Halligan feeds the ball to Devin Grab. Grab finds the back of the cage, and that would be number 100 for the UCLA senior. She joins the 100 gold club for her career. And of course, that one was a hat trick. Long Beach State trails 9-2. They would get two more before the final buzzer, but this one was all UCLA. They take it 9-4. Now on to the USA Water Polo Cap 7 College scoreboard. USC doubles up Arizona State. They would beat Princeton, then ASU, then take down Pacific as well. Hartwick 10-8. A winner over Pomona Pitts are now 23-5. Sure doesn't seem like a team you want to get rid of. Cal State Northridge over Redlands 16-3. And Wagner defeating Iona 15-6 in a key MAC matchup. Now on to the USA Water Polo National Collegiate Rankings, powered by the Freeman Rating System. Stanford finally getting back in action this week after several weeks off. They stay at number one. Then SC, Cal, UCLA, Hawaii. On to ASU, Pacific, Michigan, Irvine, and Davis. Water Polo on TV this Saturday. ASU at UCLA. This is a pivotal MPSF matchup. 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Watch live on the Pac-12 Network. 
Let's finish things up strong with our social media send off the best of all the water polo we could find on the internet with your help. Tag us at USAWP and use the hashtag counterattack. Let's get it started. And we begin in Tennessee. Coach Abdu walking in Memphis, if you will, hanging out with the Bluff City Water Polo Squad, checking out the great game of water polo growing in the great state of Tennessee. Love to see more action there. National Puppy Day last week, and one Spartan is ready to go. Thanks to Darlene for sending this one in. Olympian Merrill Moses, he's adding to his own team. A big announcement here. Congrats to Merrill and family. Ready to welcome a third daughter. More promposal fun. Juliet sharing this one. These get better and better every year keep those coming cap seven with another one on their instagram page sometimes you just have to shoot your shot well done there and last but not least big news for one of the all-time greats brenda via she is headed into the international swimming hall of fame congrats brenda so again that was some of the best stuff we found this week on the internet concerning the game we all love water polo we would love to share even more so make sure you send in your contributions tag us at usawp use that hashtag counterattack That'll do it for this week's show. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget when you're on the counterattack, look weak side.